Lucky Jack 20. Welcome back to Let's Play of Ocarina of Time in the last part. We got about, man, I'd say halfway through the Fire Temple. You, you want to say halfway through the Fire Temple? I'd say halfway through the Fire Temple. Yeah, halfway through the Fire Temple. And I'm here to do, obviously, the second half. Because continuity is a really good idea, isn't it? Get out of here, you fire slug. No, nope, you're gone over here. Uh, there you are. This switch is kind of a little far away, but all this does, this actually opens the cage all the way over there. And that weird chanting music is still going cool. I'd say this is actually the most interesting dungeon music I've heard in a, in a Legend of Zelda game, actually. I think the, the Twilight Princess one, so I'm probably definitely going to do a Let's Play of Twilight Princess. I have seen that one 100%, you know, in this sense, you know, where I get almost everything. Where I get all the main important items. And, well, there's a fishing game in that one, but... That one you actually don't even have to do. There's nothing you earn from no hard pieces. You can get a bobble and a hard piece, but eh. I'm, I'm, I'm spoiling stuff for a game I'm, I haven't even done yet. Uh, are you releasing me? Yes, we are releasing you. Have you not watched us release all your other friends and thought we were going to skip over you? You somewhat? You find a place that you cannot see on the map, but can reach perfectly in your arena. Right, I guess that was just the hint for using the Scarecrow song, I guess. Anyway, let's just get our key. Hooray! Uh, now, this one took me a while to figure out where we're supposed to go from here. There are two areas we can go to right now. There's, the, there's of course, the big tunnel we just bombed out. But that's not going to take us further into the dungeon. But, we might as well get out of the way. Ow. Okay. Let's stop doing that. Let's stop, let's, let's stop doing our breaking of the shins and our ankles. And Yes, we're releasing you. I know we technically passed you up before, but here we go. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with some creatures that dance as they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron special crop. That's all I have to tell you. We could use the Goron special crop, or we could use another cheap method, which is ten times easier than the Goron special crop. I already know what he's talking about. I can't say exactly what at the moment. But trust me, I, I, without even saying the name, because if I was to say the name, I'd already give it slightly away. But trust me, you'll 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 know what enemy he's talking about when you see it. Now we have to climb all the way back up. Yep, that we do. Oh boy! Oh crap! Fire slugs being camping. I hate when camp. Oh crap! Magic boulder. Ow! You can take punishment like no other, Link. You just go and you just do. You ran, you ram into a wall. You ram your head into a wall. Nothing. You just walk it off and you just start slashing another thing in front of you. You think this is weird? Once again, uh, I'm going to do Twilight Princess. Not now, though, because I, once again, I think I'm going to have had enough of Legend of Zelda for a while after I do this game. Yes, yes, crap, crap, crap. Fire's coming, fire's coming. Alright, this is weird. You have to jump. This corner. Oh, just made that. And that's how you get... And this is how you progress further in the dungeon. Alright, I'm just gonna go over here and open this door. And it will lead us into the second half. Oh, boy. This looks interesting. Yes, this does. Now, this is the tricky part. It's like a maze, but it doesn't look like a maze yet because, hang on, door. What happens is, fire will rise up between pillars, but you don't know which pillars are open up between. Anyway, I'm just gonna make a quick side trip over to this blinding light of chest. Or blinding chest of light, whatever. To get the compass! Alright, only one more big chest to go, and then we're done. Actually, no, two big chests, what am I talking about? The item of the dungeon, obviously, which, if you haven't already. Oh, hello, Magic Boulder. Which, if you haven't already guessed what it's gonna be, because they've already, I'll give you a hint, they've already spelled out like, what, three times? So yeah, it's like a maze, oh crap, fire keys. But like, see, these pillars don't look like anything until you get close to them, and, oh crap, walked right into that one. Fire rises up, so you have to find the gaps between these invisible, uh, it's like an invisible maze. Crap, whoa, that was a close one. Come on, get to the store, thank you. Can I get through? Thank you. Okay, looks like we're almost at the center of the room, but crap, I can't get to that Gorn yet. Uh, anything around here I can use? Um, looks pretty secure. 
Let's try a song. Uh, let's try the song of time. I haven't used that one in a while. But what you mean, of course, I already know we have to do it here. Yes, yes. Oh. Hello there. Where, where did you get here? I totally thought you were going to be in front of me. Alright, well, nothing. Well, that's just going to allow us to get back up there, but still nothing we can do up there for the time being. Another fire maze. Okay, um. I just like to stay on the outside because it's safer. We have a switch. And a giant firewall of doom. Let's see what this does. Oh, it extinguishes said firewall of doom. Oh, but it's on a timer. It extinguishes the firewall of doom, but it's on a timer. Okay, what we got in here? Heart. Oh well, what's this? Now, notice how you can see through the bars and there's no door. This is a trick door. If you open it, it will come down and crash on you. But we can use a bomb to blow it to pieces and reveal the real door. Uh, I just remember that from my practice file. What the heck is this? What the heck? I think I just kind of quickly gave away this boss. This is the Flare Dancer. I'm already cleaning it up. Because it always turns around. The Flare Dancer is actually a lot easier than you might think. He'll come down, and he'll do his little pirouette thing. He goes red, blue, and then green, I think. Yeah. So already we're down to a second unit of health. Crap, there he goes. And all you have to do... Well, this gives me time to explain. You need to use the bomb to stop him while he's moving. Or you can just use the hook shots. And I'm just failing at trying to get this hook shot to connect. Right, do the bomb method. Or it's that method. It's just the hook shot. And all you do is first you slash, and he'll chase. But then all you have to do is quickly get in front of him. He'll pause and run the other way. And then you just get around him and get around him. That way you'll constantly be pausing and turning. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, he's on the last unit of health. Got him. Right, one. Run in front of him. Oh, crap, crap, no. Okay. Run around him. He'll turn. Run around him again. He'll turn. And there you go. Oh, crap, they explode, though. He does explode at the end. Just give you your bomb back, I guess. So I always thought was kind of cool. Really easy mini boss though. As, as you, if you know his pattern and you know what to do, really easy. Just slash, get on the other side of him, slash again, and just keep doing that, and then hook shot. It's really simple. All right, what we got in here? Strange. I thought the item would have been after the mini boss. All right, I saw that. I did see that crystal switch. Okay, how about we move to the left? There we go. I see the crystal switch, and we all remember what to do from the la from the last part. Bomb. Fire. Be friends now. Alright, we'll just climb back up. Um, wait for it. Yeah, no way I would have made that just slashing it. Okay, what's in this room now? Another big room with another big drop. Great. Alright, um, I want to make sure there's nothing that's going to get in my way of this because this is where the item is. Keys! Target sighted. Knocked out. Where are you? I saw you hiding. Come on. I'm ready. I'm ready. I can get you out of the way. Come on. Got you. All right. Where is that other key? So I'm ready for you. I s oh, there you are. Oh, almost. A little bit ahead of him. Gotcha. Didn't think you'd be messing with me now, would ya? Alright, what does this switch do? Oh, oh, it stops the fire on the chest. Perfect. There's the item. Let's go to that item. Gotta walk on these steps really precariously, which is why I wanted to get rid of the keys, because I want to fall down. Oh, but we made that with plenty of time to spare. Once again, I'm blinded by the light that emanates from this chest from whence I beheld the Megaton Hammer! Hammer. I want to learn how to do that echo voice so badly. That looks pretty cool, and I could use it in so many other places. Oh. Huh. Pressure plate. Well, if I ever saw a chance to use a giant hammer, this would be it. Oh, it collapsed. Uh. I, I didn't mean to break it. I seriously didn't. Alright, let's just see what's down here then. Go on, jump. Oh, that wasn't such a bad drop. Oh, pillar. Why have a hammer? 
just far more powerful than a sword for breaking things. Also to build things. That is a rescue game. Yes, I did see that movie Thor. Which actually was a really it was actually a pretty good movie, I thought. I felt it was in I was in that little type of world where it felt like the movie was progressing way too quickly. Like I wanted to maybe pace itself a little bit slower so I could catch up. What we got here? Oh! We got a fresh place system. No, now just because of the pacing itself does not mean it's in any way a bad movie. Take this block with you. Just trying to be a side commentary as well. Because we're going to need There's going to be another pressure plate thing. One that has to be held. Like from Jabu Jabu's belly. Oh, I thought we saw the last of these in the last in that dungeon. Nope. Block. Anyway. It, it just felt like it just felt too short for me. But usually that. But sometimes that. But sometimes that means it's a good movie. Maybe I didn't want it. Anyway. Oh! That was. Sorry, Link. <laughs> Come on, jump off that. There you go. Now, this switch over here, we can't just walk on. Because going to Navi here is about to say it, it's rusted. So, he's a little extra tender care from a giant megaton hammer to, uh, to push it, that's all. Where are we now, you might ask? We're back in this room with the Goron and the block of time we opened up that we made up here. We can use the jump up here. This switch is also rusted. That's why I couldn't do anything yet, but now we have a hammer. We can release the Goron. I'm trying to catch up and say everything in a nice, orderly fashion. What do you got? Yes, you are free to go. All right, what's your secret? The door is hidden in the statue at the entrance to this temple. What? But the Goron special crap won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Well, we do have a, well, we do have our free will. Our spirit, our courageous spirit, a great sword, this cool small key. Oh yeah, and we also have a hammer that weighs about a hundred, uh, what's a megaton? About a hundred? It has force about a hundred tons. And, I don't know, I did like the, did like the courageous spirit find. And if you don't know what this is, let me blow your mind by blasting it open. Oh my god! Wait. We didn't break our ankles? You know what that was? That was the pillar that now we can get over to the boss door. But we don't have a boss key because once again, Darunia forgot to leave it unlocked when he went in it. How sweet of him. Oh, God. But, okay, he said there's a door here behind the statue. We can now break it open. Whoa, time out, time out. Whoa. I didn't catch fire because I was using the hammer and the cutscene saved me. Thank you, cutscene. Looks like we have some enemies to deal with. Alright, we'll take care of the keys first. Oh crap, the slugs and everything are coming after me. Whoa, time shit, time out. Yeah, the cool thing is you can use, you can use the hammer to flip all the slugs at once. A lot of me to be able to take them out like that. Nothing too bad. Ugh. How do we not break our how do we not take any damage from that fall? That was that was that was a Longer drop than any of the other drops I've taken in this dungeon. Oh well. Let's keep moving. Oh crap, another one of these rooms. Well, I'm ready for you this time. You gave me trouble in the past, but I now have the Z target at my disposal. Yeah, that like likes getting a little bit too close. <laughs> Walk up, drop the ninja. Okay. Don't go near when he's doing that sucky thing, because then he'll eat you up and take your items. Give me a... Okay, I'll, I'll come back to you later. I don't have time for this. I'm taking the sculptures. I'm leaving. Rupees, don't need them. Taking them anyway. What we got in here? Oh, crap. Yep, we get to fight two of these bad boys. Watch this. Hammer down. Immediately. You only have to use your hookshot. Just hammer and once again comes right out. And they say all we have to do is use a bomb. And they say bomb. Hammer done. Hammer! I would obviously make a, I would obviously make the uh, MC hammer joke at a time like this, but I am not going to because I try and find more I try and find the jokes that a lot of other people wouldn't immediately rely on. There you are. Pound it! Actually, that's Come on. 
Okay, you turn one way, I'll slash you. Turn the other way. Oh crap. Nope, nope. We're doing the run. Oh crap. We're doing the chase again. Hey, look who I am. Crap. Get back here. Guess who? Oh crap. Well, that wasn't too bad. Hmm. Do I need them? Well, I may need a top off, you know. I got. How many? Uh, 31. Yeah, I'll take them. Okay. Just, uh. See if I can, uh, oh, <laughs> wrong side of the chest, uh, on. Navi, get out of here! Thank you. I want to open these, this chest and get some bombs in peace. <sighs> oh, well. <gasps> Look over there, you see it? Oh, crap, press the switch. Taken care of. There it is. All right, I'll save him first, as if he doesn't need me to be saved. Yes, you're free to go, and now I can begin. Yes, Big Brother Daruni has been asking me to help you. Please help, Big Brother. Are you talking to me, or are you saying, please help Big Brother, like I'm the Big Brother, or please help him, he's the Big Brother? Dang again, there I go, opening it from the wrong side. And there it is, the great boss key chest, which will contain. Well, that was obvious now, wasn't it? Okay. Now we can finally proceed into the, the boss of this place, because now I'm done with this temple. It's not the right temple, it's not too confusing once you know where you're going, but it just gets hard wandering around a samey brown hole that all look alike. Oh, Alright. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm probably going to start doing some of that side quest stuff in the next part. That's going to be fun. Alright. This must be here. Volvagia's chambers. Well, we can take him on. Where be he? Uh oh. You, you, you do know uh, we, we could schedule this later if it's in trouble at the moment. Or you could push that down. That could make this a nice solid engagement we're about to have here. Uh oh. Uh oh. How many times have I said that this let's play? Oh crap. Oh well, I'm still trying to keep it PG as much as I can. This is Volvagia. And this is kind of... Now when I say what this boss is like, you're gonna actually look down on this boss fight a lot more. This is a lot like whack a -Mole. You hit him with your hammer, and then you let loose on him. That's it. There are nine slots here, he'll come out one of them. I, I'm glad we got to that phase early. For, he he kind of switches off. Thank goodness we have the Goron to if we can walk in the hole with that lava. We can be taking damage. Imagine how hard this boss is. Crap. Just, just walk circles. But don't touch his body. He'll take damage as well. So there's this phase where he just goes around and starts breathing fire, going crazy and whatnot. And he'll go back down and then he'll come back up for another head smack. And this phase becomes like whack -a Seriously, does. This totally reminds me of Black. Right. Be careful though. When he uh, first comes out and he sways his hair around, he can also take damage from that. Crap, crap, crap. Back up. Alright. Now that's one now. And then there's this phase where he's going to go way high up in the sky, hit the ceiling, and proceed to drop boulders, flaming boulders, hot boulders like that stuff. Oh, crap, crap. Oh! Just. Start moving a little bit. Okay, okay where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Okay. Ah, sorry. Okay. So where is he gonna come out? At this point, he's gonna start tricking you. Say so one and two. Oh, crap. Ow. No, no, hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, shoot. I should not have touched him for that long. I should not have come into contact with him. Okay, I am not going to die. Very. Help me out. There we go. Okay. Alright. Zeus right. There you go. Slam your face. Oh. Alright. Easy there. I want to be brave, but I'm not going to be stupid. Let's keep my ball on. Oh, crap. 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 Hey, turn your head to the right a little bit more and maybe start hitting. If it didn't work the last 10 times, stop trying to get this angle. 
or just no kid that, that that works too. And if you're helping me, I, I, will, I will gladly accept it. But uh, Miss Leno, if you want to have a good fight where you can also become a oh, he's doing it three times now. That, that's tricky. Gotcha. Come on, I can take you any day. That's it. You're the great dragon that I'm supposed to be looking forward to this entire time. A dragon fight. That's what every adventure wants to take down is a dragon. And look at you. You're just... You're going crazy now. Your, your body's coming too close to itself. You, you do know that if it hurts me, you're probably going to hurt you. Oh! Oh! Not a lot of meat on the bones, is there? Heads up! I do not know if that was a pun or not. Whoa! Oh, I think I know what this is. Might as well get this out. I don't know, I just like the Ocarina Time better. There it is, a heart container. 13 hearts is mine, and now I'm gonna start doing horrible because it's a paradox. Can't have unlucky and lucky together. Oh god. I'll just be Jack, which is actually better because Link's name is Jack in this game. I'm trying to connect way too many things together. I'm gonna shut up and let a cutscene roll out. Whoa! You're right there, man. Whoa. Okay, did I just cause the apocalypse? Oh no, I I guess fiery plume from the earth can actually remove the apocalypse. So the volcano will now be calm again. Hooray! Alright, where am I? Oh, we're back here, and I wonder who the Sage of Fire is. Can anyone, any guesses? Well, actually, it's too late now, is it? Thank you, brother. I really appreciate what you did. I thank you on behalf of the entire Goron race. You turned out to be a real man, just as I thought you. I, I don't really like that evil glare. It looks like you're having an evil glare in your eye. By the way, I, the wild Darunia, turned out to be the great Sage of Fire. Isn't that funny, brother? Well, this must be what they call destiny. Nothing has made me happier than helping you seal the evil here. I'm sorry, I forgot. How did you help? Besides telling me to do free everybody? Hey, brother, take this. This is a medallion that contains the power of the fire spirits and my friendship. Oh. He's going to give me the power of friendship and the entire fire orb of medallion. The fire medallion is ours. Hooray! This is absolutely still accomplishing nothing to our old power. Darunia awakens as a sage and adds his theoretical power to mine. Hooray again! Don't forget, now you and I are true brothers. Well, this video's already gone a little longer than I want it to be, so... I'm probably going to end it here. I'm Lucky Jack 20. Doing the last way of Ocarina of Time in the next part. Oh boy, guess what? I'm going to start doing some side quests. The Great Poe quest. The Big Goron Sword quest. I'm going to do all that crap. But next time, see ya.